Hey cuties, hope all of you are having a great week. Um, I am having a good week myself. So, I wanted to do this video just because I mentioned before that um, I am going through, like, obviously, like, there has been some development is what I wanted to say. Um, there has been some development and I'm pretty sure I made a video about it to kind of show you guys what's been developing a little bit, but I don't know if you could really see it. Um, the shirt I was wearing before, like, wasn't tight enough. It was kind of, I think it was a regular t-shirt, and then this is kind of a fitted t-shirt, so this shirt, you might be able to see it better. Um, so I'll show you what, what, I guess I can, I'll show you what's been developing so far, and then, um, I'll talk about some other stuff that I've noticed as well, so. Um, let me see if I can get, if I can get this in the shot. So, this is my, I guess, breast development so far. You can't really see it there, but, like, when I turn to the side, like, here, you can kind of see it better. Let's see, nipple development there. My nipples never used to be like that, and then see it kind of looks a little bit more spherical I guess for lack of a better word so yeah that's been developing um I don't know if you can see but my waist is kind of coming in a little bit um I feel like I've gotten thinner like I feel like my arms have gotten a little bit thinner um and then also also um my skin is a lot softer my hair is thicker. I think I mentioned that in the other video. That um, my hair is thicker. It feels different. Like it feels a lot different. It feels thicker. Um, it feels softer as well. I've never had like really hard hair or like hair that wasn't really soft, but it feels a lot softer. Like when I shower, like it feels a lot silkier. Um, what else is there? Um, breast development, um, I haven't noticed anything about, like, emotions, I know that's one thing that a lot of people talk about, like, that they're very emotional and stuff like that, I haven't noticed that, I haven't been emotional or anything like that, um, since I've been on them, I had maybe one or two dizzy spells, but it was, like, for a second where I'm like, whoa, like, like, I felt like the room spin, spinned for, like, just a second, but, since then I haven't had anything like that, um, let's see, I think that's it as far as that goes, as far as like the whole transition stuff, um, as far as that, yeah, that's pretty much it, I haven't noticed anything else, um, I, I was expecting like the whole boob issue <laughs> was gonna happen a lot later, like maybe at the end of like maybe at the third month or at the end of the third month just because at six months is when you have like when they say you really have breast growth but it's already started and it's kind of it's exciting but it's um a little bit like I don't know nerve-wracking maybe no not nerve-wracking that's not the word I want um it's exciting but a little bit scary that I think that's the right word um but I'm excited to have boobs already like I can't wait. <laughs> um, what else is there? Ch -ch -ch. Um, my last video, if you haven't checked it out, um, you should check it out. It's um, discussing me coming out to my parents and stuff like that. Um, just like, I guess, an added thing to it, even though that was the last video of my coming out series. Um, just to add, like, just a little bit more information. I feel that... Um, <laughs> If you're able to come out to family members and you're able to um, provide for yourself, I I think, like, I mean, you know your situation best, so I'm not trying to tell you what to do. But if you can, just do it because you feel a lot better. You'll feel a lot better, especially, like, 
like say for example you live out of state and or you just live in a you have your own apartment or whatever I think that one of the big things is just telling your parents like once you tell them or your loved ones or whoever's in your life um, you're gonna feel a lot better I mean I know I was so scared about it and I pumped it up so much but once I did it I felt so relieved and you know I couldn't think of a feeling that I felt so like I can't I couldn't think of a period where I felt so accomplished like I really felt like I did something for myself and I did something that that in a way set me free you know what I mean and um it's kind of sad that in a way that I realize this now but um I think that a lot of times a lot of people in this world you know try to live for somebody else or to make other people happy instead of making themselves happy and I'm I'm no exception to that because I remember when I was growing up you know I didn't take advantage of I guess who I was as a person and I didn't embrace who I was as a person kind of thing like there were a lot of things that I did like but I wouldn't do just because of fear of how society would react and stuff like that um and to a certain extent that's 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 how you should be because you don't want to put yourself in a situation where you're gonna get hurt or anything like that but at the same time like I wasn't the only gay person in that in the school that I went to there were other um there was a few I think or maybe there were some other gay people I don't know how many but I know there was this one particular one who he was just very out there very comfortable with himself and very okay with himself and he would wear rainbow suspenders and you know he was happy with who he was as a person and I kind of um I don't want to say I envied him because at the time I really didn't care but looking at at it now I kind of I do envy like how not envy that's not the right word but I admire how people like maybe are like that like how people are like that um and I think it's now that I realize that you know you can't live for other people and you just have to live for yourself and you have to do what makes you happy um your parents lived their life your friends are living their lives why shouldn't you be able to live your life you know what I mean um again don't take this as you know come out to your family and you're 16 and you live at home right now I mean evaluate your situation people and decide what you want to do I can't stress that enough like evaluate your situation and think about what you're doing before you 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 do it because there are consequences to whatever you do they could be good consequences or bad but it all regardless there's gonna be consequences um, I knew what consequences I would potentially face like I could have been disowned uh, my family could have been like no we don't want you whatever or they could have been happy about it either way I came to terms with it and I told myself you know what they lived their lives this is about me and about me living my life and that's pretty much the big thing that told that allowed me to really come out to them was just being happy who what who with who I was as a person and realizing I'm not trying to get their acceptance I'm not trying to get their approval on this um, this is just me informing them what I plan on doing with my life not necessarily trying to get some kind of approval or trying to get some validation from them if they ended up still loving me and caring about me then that was a bonus but if not obviously I would have been sad but it was something I I was preparing myself for you know what I mean so I guess what I took from this whole I guess process so far is that you just and I keep saying it but just be happy with who you are as a person and if you are in a place where you can be who you tr truly want to be 
and you can do it safely without getting hurt or anything like that or you're not putting yourself in any danger I would say do it like thinking about it now if I could go back to high school I probably would would have high school not even just high school just grade school in general I would have been who I wanted to be I would have been a little bit more androgynous maybe a little bit more female and transgender when I was in high school you know what I mean because I knew at a young age but because of my upbringing and because of how I just learned how society was I didn't express who I was as a person I didn't feel at any time I was in danger at school um I did get made fun of but I didn't feel like I was in in danger or anything like that um I do think that that a lot of people in high school and stuff like that talk a lot of shit but when it comes down to it they can't really back it up yeah you can you can talk shit to people behind their back you can talk shit to them in their face but you know it's because you're insecure yourself I don't I don't see like why differences in other people make you want to lash out at them you know what I mean like what what about me wearing heels and walking down the street and you talking shit about it it makes you feel better you know um that's just kind of how I feel about it I don't know really why people bully and stuff like that but then again I wasn't I got made fun of but nothing too serious where I wanted to off myself or anything like that or or nothing where I couldn't deal with it I had good friends and I think that's really important when you're in school to have good friends and people you can kind of count on even if you don't have um friends at school but like having a family that loves you and that supports you and that helps you through through whatever you're going through that's that's also a very good thing to have obviously um this is kind of getting along and I'm just kind of I mean I'm kind of rambling but um yeah like I just feel that if I was who I truly was there there like back then in grade school there would be a lot of unwasted time but you know you need to enjoy the journey in life too I mean that's hindsight and um and I'm pretty content with where my life is right now I have good friends I have a good family um I'm doing what I like or love um I'm doing what I love actually um I uh, I don't know um I feel like the future is full of possibilities now and that every day is a new adventure and I'm just going to grow as time progresses so hmm I guess that's it pretty much I mean what am I gonna leave this as a title to I guess a life lesson or growing up or something I don't know but um yeah that's pretty much it remember to like comment subscribe share if you dare and as always, my beautiful cuties, um, have a great week, and, you know, don't let the haters get you down if you're in a school where they're bullying you or whatever, don't let them get you down, and, you know, if you're able to be yourself wherever you are, do it, like, be yourself, and... Be proud of who you are as a person because there's nobody like you in this world. You are unique, you're beautiful, and there's nobody like you in this world. So to all of you who are feeling lost and confused and like there's no way out in this world or just feeling like people at your school or in your life are coming down on you and bullying you or whatever you know my heart goes to you and I wish I could help you and I I wish I could give you the strength that I have right now but just remember like it's high school I know this sounds really dumb it's only four years of your life there are options like you can transfer schools you can do homeschool there are options 
but don't let them affect you, okay? Have a great week. Love you guys, and as always, I don't know, just stay cute, I guess. <laughs> Bye, guys.